Now I'm ready to show you guys my favorite essential oil blend for coughs and colds. It feels really early, but it's really about eight. And Gracie was up in the middle of the night with a very creepy cough. So I guess you could say that the cold season has begun and I'm glad I was prepared. Thankfully, I do have my elderberry syrup and my elderberry gummies. I also have a good store of bone broth. In the middle of the night, Grace was asking for some broth and I told her to just wait till the morning and... But I got up anyway. I got up anyway and ate some. You did? <laughs> when did you do that? Last night. Really? So she's had a couple of gummies this morning and I'm going to be giving her um, a dose of, of elderberry every hour for the rest of the day and probably Justice too because he has a cold as well and giving her as much bone broth as she would like. You're not sick yet but I'm going to give you elderberry syrup and gummies in the hopes that it will help you not get sick, okay? All day. Oh buddy. Sit up so I can give this to you. More. You can have more in one hour, okay? Um, so Do you want blanket? Um, blanket. Okay. Oh, did you hear the timer? It's time for another elderberry gummy or syrup if they prefer. Now I'm ready to show you guys my favorite essential oil blend for coughs and colds. Congestion in the sinuses and the chest. Now everyone has a different opinion about which essential oil brands are the best. There's doTERRA and Young Living which are like considered you know the top grade. There's you know locally made ones and then there's also just like the kind you can get at your health food store like our Acacia. One brand that I love in my local area is called Soma. I like this one, it's local, it's sold at the small local health food stores. I've used it for years and I always found it to be great. Um, you know, there, there are just different opinions about which ones you should use, which ones you shouldn't use. And, you know, obviously the doTERRA and the Young Living come at a very, very high price range and the Aracacia and the Soma tend to be more affordable. Now that's where people's opinions come into play. <laughs> Sorry, the sun's going in and out, in and out, and it's getting kind of wild lighting in here. As far as which brand you should buy, I really think that it's up to you. I mean, some people will say never use anything but doTERRA or Young Living. Some people say it doesn't matter. I say that if you can't afford doTERRA and Young Living, it doesn't mean you can't use essential oils. I personally can't afford to buy the quantities of that, those particular brands that I need. And so I will often buy the Aracacia Organics or the Soma Organic line. I actually have all three brands with me today. I have a therapeutic grade brand, I have the Soma brand, and I have the Aracacia brand. And the reason I did that was to just kind of make a point that I just think that you should buy the best that you can that you can afford and still make good products for your family. This is what you're going to need to just make one blend for congestion. And there are hundreds of blends out there that you can make. But I hope this one will find its way into your winter medicine cabinet. The first thing you're gonna need is this really cool essential oil roller. This is one of my favorite items to buy. It's small, it's a pretty glass color, it's blue, and it's very inexpensive and easy to use. See the roller? It just rolls the essential oils right on you. This handy dandy little part here just pops right off. And now you can put your essential oils in there. You're never gonna wanna put essential oils directly on your skin, so you're always gonna want to mix in a carrier oil. My personal favorites are yojoba and argan oil. You're also gonna need a bowl. Lastly, you're gonna need an infant medicine syringe, or you could also get like a medicine dropper. 
For the blend we're making today, we're going to use eucalyptus oil, lavender oil, and peppermint oil. These are very strong. Be careful while you use them. You could really burn your eyes. So it's very simple. We're going to do 10 drops of each oil. Okay. And we're going to do about 3 quarters of a tablespoon of yojoba oil. Like I said, you can use argan oil, um, almond oil, certain kinds of coconut oil. This is just the one that I have on hand and I really like this one. Mix it around. And then I'm going to suck it up with my syringe. Now I'm just going to squirt it into my roller. All right, now I'm gonna take the lid to my roller. I'm just gonna pop it on. I did leave a little room at the top so that I can mix it. And I'm just gonna do this for about a minute. And now I'm done. The last thing I'll do is uh, write on a piece of tape what this blend is, though I can usually just tell from smelling it. And then, but then I'll know, and then also Arthur will know, or you know, Grace can read, so she'll know. And when she needs it, she can just go get it and roll it on herself. I've actually been using this all day with Grace, but I did need to make more. It's really helping her cough. She actually comes to me and says, I need um, the oils for my chest because she feels the difference in her breathing and in her, in her um, coughing when she uses this. Can I have a kiss? Uh. Can I have kisses? Uh, can I have kisses? No kisses for mommy. Uh, uh, uh. Arthur got off work early today, and I didn't tell the kids. So I'm trying to hold off dinner till he gets here, but they are about to stage a mutiny. <laughs> he should be here any minute, and I just hopefully they won't be too grumpy to be excited because how hungry they are. That makes me want to go ahead and feed them. <laughs> Do you guys want to eat now, or do you want me to make biscuits first? Make biscuits! Can I make biscuits? Can I make biscuits? Yeah, go make biscuits. Okay. I'll help. You can help cut them out. Yeah! Cut them out! Gracie, you think you can do it all on your own without me helping at all? Well, not with the butter. Okay. So it looks like you're getting the hang of the butter part. Good job. Don't stuff any in your Why? mouth. I've been standing at the front door waiting for him to get home and he just got here. There's somebody out front, go see who it is. Who is it? I don't know, go see. You can finish your biscuits in a minute. Dad. Who is it? Dad. Did you think he was coming home yet? Hi, Dad! <laughs> Dad. How was your day? It was great. What's it like being home so early? <laughs> this is completely different. Yeah. Well, I know we get to have supper together. Oh, it's fun. It'll be great. I know. I'm excited. Cat got in the house. Cat, you're not allowed in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Those look pretty much perfect. Do you want to taste a piece? I want to taste a piece. Hold on. We're going to let the cook taste it first. 